Supplementary Angles and Parallelograms. I've got a couple drawings of parallelograms here I can show you. See how Q is 110 and R is 70? Well, they're supplementary angles of each other, as are these two, as are these two, and as are these two. Each one of them is a supplement to the other because when you total them, they equal 180. In this drawing, if you notice there's no right angle, well, when the diagonal opposite the obtuse one, here's the obtuse angles, okay, see how they're open bigger, and here's an acute angle, well, the diagonal opposite the obtuse one, the one bigger than 90 degrees, is longer than the one opposite the acute angle. Look at how long this is to my finger, okay, see where the Q hits? If I go here, this way is definitely shorter. QN is longer than MP. Angle N is acute and angle M is obtuse. Angle Q is acute and angle P is obtuse. See that? So I have a theorem for you. So write this down if you can. Consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Consecutive angles, that means in order, from this one to this one are supplementary, from this one to this one, not across, okay? Consecutive means in order, okay? It means that when you add the measures of two angles at each end of a side, see how they're on each end of a side? That they'll total 180 degrees together, and that'll help you when you do proofs knowing that rule. See you in the next video.